C. Lindelof videos, solving systems of equations in three variables using our TI Inspire CAS calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a system of equations that I know has a good solution, and then I'm going to show you how to put this into your calculator. So let's take a look at the system that we have. So the system that we're going to use is x plus 2y minus z equal to 4. The second equation is 2x plus y plus z equals negative 2. And lastly, x plus 2y plus z equals 2. So from here, all I'm going to do is go straight to my calculator. So for me, I'm going to go to my home screen. And I'm going to toggle down to here. So at calculator, I'm going to go ahead and enter at calculator. So enter at calculator. Then I'm going to do is just go here to menu. Check. This is actually so easy. I'm just going to go here to menu. I'm going to go to algebra. From algebra, I'm going to go over here to solve systems. So you can put solve system of linear equation. It doesn't really matter. But what does matter is this. I have three equations, three variables. Remember, we had the variable x, y, and z. So I am going to backspace here and put in three. If I do that and go down and go down. Whoa, it didn't work well. Sorry, like this. Then I'm going to hit tab. I know that's going to take me there. And if you can see, it actually added the variable z. If you had your variables in different form, q, s, and t, etc., you can switch those. It's fine, as long as everything remains consistent. So I'm, from there, I'm just going to put OK. And then it just gives me my shell, and I'm going to type in exactly what we had, which was x plus 2y, right, minus z equal to 4. I'm going to cursor down. I'm going to use my down cursor here. So go down to the next one. And then the next one is 2x plus y plus z. Be careful that you type this stuff in correctly. Otherwise, you're going to get a bad answer, and you won't be sure why. So that, just take an extra second if you don't mind doing that. And then the last equation was x plus, was it 2y? 2y plus z equal to 2. And just to be completely honest with you, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going back and looking at this and making sure that this is the way I wanted it. So I'm checking this against my the problem that I'm, look, that I'm looking at. And everything seems to be OK. Here's the stunning part. Just hit Enter. So that's really, really, really cool. There's another way to do this using matrices. But this is a really simple system. And I haven't found the limit to it yet. I'm going to uh, try this with a non with a non with nonlinear systems and see what it does. But I thought I'd share this with you. I hope it helps you a ton. Remember, if you're going to be good at this, you're going to have to practice it on a bunch of problems. So let me know how you make out. Um, your comments are always welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. I appreciate you guys. Peace.